So guys, today we're talking Festival of the Lost, because now it has finally returned to the game with this week's weekly reset. Now in this video, we're going to be going over the intro quest, uh, how you can gain access to some of the exclusive items within this year's event and more. But before we get into it, as always, if you're going to enjoy this video or find it helpful, if you could leave a like and subscribe to the channel, I would very much appreciate it. And if you want to help out even more, consider becoming a channel member by hitting the join button down below. Uh, but with all that being said, let's just jump into today's video. First off, talking about the intro quest for this year's event, which is pretty similar to last year's events or previous year's events even. I just come here first to Eva Levante to pick up the quest. She'll be in her normal spot within tower when these events are on. Uh, the first step is going to be equipping the mask that she provides you and then jumping in to Haunted Lost Sectors. These can be accessed via the little uh, interactable node here in the tower or by going to the tower map and just selecting Haunted Lost Sector playlist. This will be the only one you have unlocked at the moment uh, with expert ones unlocking after you complete the intro quest. Yeah, complete your Haunted Lost Sector, return to Eva, and then she'll just give you the brand new weapon with the uh, dual loader and trench barrel roll. Now, this is one of the weapons that I would highly recommend farming for because it's the only heavy burst shotgun that we currently have in the game, and it's looking to be quite a decent weapon overall. Definitely worth going and getting your hands on. Alongside that, the returning weapons of this year's event did get some spicy new perks added to them, and I made a whole video yesterday breaking down all of their perk rolls, so if you want to look at that, you can. But moving along, let's talk about stuff you can actually do during this year's event to gain some of these exclusive items. So after you do the intro quest, you'll fully unlock this year's Festival of the Lost challenge card, which will grant you uh, very easily accessible items as well as exclusive shaders, sparrows and emblems. Uh, you just unlock these by completing stuff within this year's event, like getting uh, manifested pages, which you get just by playing the game. Uh, same thing for the weapons here. Alongside that, you can also get some exclusive masks and a whole load of candy, which is going to be very helpful with this year's event uh, as well. It's just guaranteed weapons here as well. So if you get uh, like pulse rifle kills, you can get Jurassic Green. Grenade launcher kills will grant you a cosmic. Uh, shotgun kills will give you another roll of arcane embrace. Uh, and all that good stuff. Now, if you complete all of these challenges, you also gain access to the Super Black Shader. So if you missed out on that one uh, when it was released inside of the Into the Light update, I would highly recommend going and getting your hands on that because it's the only full black shader that you can currently get inside of the game. Uh, obviously, masks don't shade, uh, but it does make literally everything black. So if you want an all-black shader, definitely would recommend jumping into Festival of the Lost and getting all those challenges completed. Uh, you have about three weeks, but that's how long this event lasts. So plenty of time to just jump in and get this shader unlocked if you missed it. Now, other than that, your main thing that you're going to be grinding for is, of course, candy and eerie engrams, because they are what are used in order to get your exotic class items here or any of the weapons that are available with this year's event. So candy is unlocked by just doing stuff in the game while wearing a mask. So make sure that you always have a mask equipped and you shouldn't be running into any issues with needing candy. They will drop after defeating enemies uh, and will appear as like little blue gambit motes. Make sure you pick those up. But if you do miss them, I believe that they do go to your postmaster. So make sure your postmaster isn't full. Uh, otherwise, you could be missing out on some candy there as well. What you can also do is just come here to the tower. And if you climb the tree that is behind Eva, as well as the tree next to Ikora on the right side of the tower, uh, by climbing this tree, you do have these little like wooden sections which do have candy on top of them. Now, I've already claimed the candy uh, for this week, but come back each week, uh, just climb these trees and on these wooden sections, if I can even uh, jump onto them, uh, there'll be little bits of candy as you go up the tree. So it's a very easy free way of just getting that currency uh, there. And then in terms of eerie engrams, you'll mainly be unlocking these from going in and completing haunted sectors, be it the playlist version or the expert version. Now, the expert version does not have matchmaking and has champions in it, uh, so I would recommend going in there with a pre-made fire team or just soloing it if you want to. Uh, that'll probably reward you with the most eerie engrams and the most candy and just more rewards generally. That's probably going to be the best way of getting your hands on stuff the fastest. But you can just do the normal playlist version if you want to just chill out and farm stuff uh, as well. 
And then once you have enough candy and eerie engrams, you can just come here to either and focus them into whatever items you would like, be it uh, these exotic class items or the weapons within this year's event. And so for weapons, you'll need 1,000 candy and one eerie engram, or you can just get a random weapon by spending 500 candy and an eerie engram, or you can just decrypt the eerie engram normally, or you can just go and decode them into random exotic armor pieces. And then finally, your other option is exotic class items. Now, these exotic class items are different because you do not need to go and actually complete the dual destiny exotic mission in order to get your hands on this focusing option. You can just literally come to either complete the intro quest, get eerie engrams and candy, and then come here to either to focus these class items. And once you do that, you will then be able to buy class items from Zer when he returns each weekend. So it's a very easy option and it just bypasses the exotic mission completely if you don't want to do it anymore. So it's a very good thing uh, to be doing with this year's event and there's no lockout as to how many you can buy during the duration of this year's event so if you want to you can potentially just farm out as many as you want and potentially get all of the possible combinations on these class items if you farm enough uh, which is very very cool alongside that you've also got your bounties here i would recommend picking up the weekly bounties because they give you a whole lot of candy xp and bright dust which will be needed in order to get the brand new or returning Eververse armor sets if you are interested in any of those. Speaking of those, let's go and take a look here uh, at Tess's inventory because there's a whole load of new items. Like I said, the armor set here looks really, really cool and it is available for 1,500 silver or 6,000 bright dust. So I'd highly recommend once again picking up those Eva bounties on all your characters and getting those done as well as just completing any seasonal challenges in order to get these armor sets. Uh, the hunter has the same kind of theme that the warlock has uh, but then the titan has a more uh good wizard themed set uh, which we voted for i believe it was sometime last year so make sure you grab those or any of the previous armor sets or cosmetics uh, that were available within previous festival of the lost events in terms of other new stuff with this year's event you do have a cade six mask and a witness mask which is exclusive to the eververse store this year as well as a whole load of emotes finishes uh, and a whole load of ships and sparrows which actually do look kind of cool uh, so you can get these for bright dust and silver or just any of the previous cosmetics as well from past festival of the lost events and yeah that's basically it for festival of the lost this year in terms of other stuff you can do this week inside of the game there is double nightfall rewards going on and the brand new glaive from the nightfalls is available which is the first ever stasis glaive so if you want to run triple glaive you are now able to so I'd highly recommend going in to there and completing some of those nightfall runs in order to get that weapon. Uh, if you run it with a mask as well, you'll be able to get some candy or should do so. That's kind of knocking out two birds with one stone. And also make sure that you are completing some of those challenges within the challenge card. So then you can get easy access to some of those weapons and other cosmetic items. And yeah, that's everything for this year's Festival of the Lost event. Hopefully you guys end up enjoying it and found this video helpful. If you did, remember to leave a like and subscribe. That's it from me here today, so I'll catch you guys in the next one.